I see healthcare in 10 to 20 years as tr really becoming consumer focused, and I mean really becoming consumer focused. My vision is, is that as a patient, I'll be able to walk into a clinical practice. They'll understand demographically who I am, what insurance coverages I have electronically without me having to fill out three clipboards full of information. They'll understand my medical and social history. I'll be able to see my physician in a clinical setting where the physician will understand thoroughly what my medical conditions are, what uh, my social history is, and to make recommendations about my care. I think the old model of having silos of data, are, that model's dead, and more and more, patients are going to require that when they have a co especially complex care, that all the information, all the different places where they've been seen are made available at the time that the patient is seen by the primary care doc and that all the information is coordinated in a liquid data fashion. HIEs really going forward have two roles in our opinion. The first is, is make sure that that information is sent to whoever is the, the primary care user and also connected to uh, anyone who supports transitions of care. So it's really that piece of being able to make sure that data goes from point A to point B and to do it cheaply. That's the first. The second is making sure that, that whatever tools that that especially primary care doc is using that it has information that gives them the context across all caregivers as to what's happening with my patient. My vision is that we will be able to create um, data that is the right amount of data at the right time. And so not bombarding the clinician with every piece of data that's out there available, but ensuring that data is scoped to what they need for that particular patient at that time, as well as providing data to the provider and to that um, primary care provider that their patient may be entering in a situation that could compromise their health. To be able to get those lab levels and be able to say, based on this, um, it may make some sense to reach out and talk to the patient would just um, really change the way we're delivering healthcare. Health Information Exchange has the opportunity to really change what we're doing today. Privacy and security is, is one of those questions that, um, we'll, that we'll have with us forever, and we should because the, the risks of improper disclosure um, are very real. And yet at the same time, we know that we can't bottle up health information and keep it someplace where no one can have access to it because uh, then we won't have the right data getting to the right place to take better care of a patient. Privacy is the main concern for everybody. You need to make sure that the right people have the information when they need it but also that the people that don't need it don't have access to it. So making sure the information is secure, it's not accessible by anybody, but the individual that needs it is key to this whole thing. The challenges in creating a successful health information exchange really boil down to trust. In order to share information, uh, the parties that share have to be confident that the data exchanged will be used for appropriate purposes and will not be used for the advantage of one or more parties to the transaction. Trust is everything and uh, you know a lot of folks when they start doing this kind of exchange, especially moving into supporting protocol-based medicine, they spend a lot of time talking about technology. Technology is easy. The technology is there. Don't recreate the wheel. It's really about making sure that everyone clearly, transparently understands how the data is going to be used and only how the data is going to be used. We do not own the data. The data is owned by the patient, by the hospital, by the lab. We are strictly a trustee. If you don't have a data trustee or, or someone giving you information can't trust that you're going to use it in a way that they want you to, you're dead. You have your, your um, certain goals that you want to accomplish. And I think to keep the patient at the center of all of those, when we find ourselves embroiled in a, a heated debate, Usually at some point someone will say, 
this is the patient's information, what is right for that patient. And let's take a step back and a deep breath and really think about that for a while. Thank you.